Hello and welcome to my new series where I play renowned explorers, International Society. So for this series, I'm going to be trying to get a very high score, at least 5,000 renown, while still beating Rivolut in Shangri-La at the same time. So let's start with a new game, Adventure Mode, Classic Difficulty, and for our captain, we'll be going with Hildegard. She's probably one of my most favorite captains at the moment, just because of her captain's perk, campaign tricks, which gives her a really head, good head start in the research. You can you can always get uh, you can always max out one of your research starting research trees if you play if you play it right with her. Her crew members you want to try to go with uh, usually friendly friendly crew members like Pedrinho. He's a really good one, really good friendly scout, uh, or a uh, friendly scientist like Amelia. This was the exact same crew that I used last game, where I got like uh, over 6,000 renown. But for this playthrough, I'm gonna mix it up a bit and pick some different crew members. So, I still would like to get a scout. Scouts are really good for um, those those um, nature uh, nature challenges, which gets you a lot of research early on. Which you want to get a lot of because you want to max out that those early research trees as early as possible. So this time let's go with um, let's go with uh, these three are all pretty much aggressive oriented scouts, which I guess could work with Hildegard. Hildegard, but I'm gonna go with Kiwi mainly because she has the survivalist trait. Which none of these other scouts have, besides Padrino. And I can also take archaeologists with her later. But usually I save those for scientists because their scientist traits work a lot better on, well, a lot better for actual scientists. Now for the. for our third party member. I still want another scientist. Well, technically we don't have a scientist yet, but I guess we could go with hmm. Anna? Hmm. I don't think she would really fit too well in this crew because it's more friendly oriented. She's more devious. We could probably go with either Agatha or Felipe. Yeah, let's go with Felipe. He's got Engineer, which is really good for the Technique Cap challenges, and Rogue, which is also good for Technique challenges, I believe. And he also has Tranquility, which is an AoE heal, which is always a plus. Yeah, I think I think we're good with these crew with this crew. So let's start. All right. So the starting island. How 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 well you do on the starting island is really really important. If you don't get a good start, you may as well restart because it's gonna affect the rest of your game. So. So you see here, this is a really good start. We have a nature challenge right here, and an encounter. Nature challenge is athletes, naturalist, or survivalist. That's why I picked picked her. So if we're lucky, we'll get the challenge that uses the survivalist trait. The crew traverses an area that looks like it has never been trodden before. Kiwi finds a weird, colorful stone that looks valuable. Uh oh. The crew goes to take a look. That's... Not... Not a good sign. That one needs a... Naturalist in your party, I believe. Sadly, closer up, the stone doesn't look fancy at all. The crew just waves it away as some common pebble. You idiots! Felipe, however, thinks there is more to the stone. And jots down some observations. Oh! Maybe not. Maybe you just need a scientist. That's, that's very good. That's excellent. 
just feel like a pack of hungry wolves is following you. Uh oh. Only one way to get out of this. Defend yourselves. Alright. First encounter. It's gonna be starting off aggressive. And uh, aggressive reward. One encounter. So we want to try to finish it aggressive. So let's start off by getting a uh, Kiwi to enrage one of them. Now made that wolf mad, which will change your move, change our move to provocative, which gives us a bonus of 25 grit, which is evasion. And now that wolf's enraged, will take bonus damage from physical attacks. Oh, no targets. Okay, he's not close enough. How about here? Actually. Actually, okay, she can't, she can't one-shot these wolves just yet. So we'll attack this, finish off this wolf. That'll give us two points of two aggressive. Not quite aggressive yet, though. And then we'll ter terrify this wolf, so he'll do less damage. Actually, I should um, t turn off the combat animations. Make this go a bit faster. Uh, theme settings. Quick encounter. Yes, there we go. Entered. Oh, he missed. That 25 grit really helps. So, we'll try to finish off this wolf with her. And then Felipe, he should have enough attack to one-shot this wolf. And he does. We finish off the encounter aggressive so we get an extra encounter token. But inverted, these wolves won't bother you no more. Stories like these do well at Renowned Explorers. Great, continue. Get two campaign for that. Alright. Go here. Try to max out. Alright. What an amazing place. The nature has... Nature here has remained untouched for ages, and forest cliffs hold some valuable ore. The crew spend days here, but to really get a result, it needs to focus on one task. We spend the day collecting research, collect valuables, and spend extra research supplies to do, get both. Police Bay engineers some makeshift tools to do both in one day. So if you see blue text down here, you should always try to pick that. It's usually the best option. You do that because you're the engineer, alright. It's fantastic. On these first islands, you want to try to go for these um these nodes where there's no there appears to be nothing no bonuses on them. Because that usually means just a hidden horde. And it is. It's not always the case though, there might be two two nodes. The discovery, gold. Secret. We want to go for discovery first to get that research early. But yeah, some maps might have two two nodes like that, and one of them might just be really empty. What a weird place. The ground is getting increasingly soft, and the air starts to smell foul. Weird rocks stamp between the crooked trees. Hildegard thinks you might have reached a pretty special point in this forest. Let's get further. While looking around, Felipe notices clues of fossilized remains. The crew is getting excited. Did you maybe find your first fossils right in this swampy place? Maybe conducting some research in the swampy areas will yield better results. Okay, so looks like we need an archaeologist for this one, I believe. Oh, nope. Naturalist, okay. Yeah, yeah, naturalist makes a lot more sense. We don't have one, but Felipe is a scientist, so he gets a lot of buffs to this challenge. But if we fail, we lose two supply. Clueless. Hmm. Losing two supply would make our supply zero immediately. Ah, what the heck? Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Great success! Alright. Hmm. I forget the bonuses of, of these. But I guess we could go with um, 
And the... The dino, one of the dino skeletons. Let's see what we get. And we got neither of the dino skeletons. But we did get a lot of study from this. Which is always nice. And that also gave us an extra insight. Oh, and um, this is what I'm talking about. This is the other node with nothing in it. This is probably... This one actually has nothing in it, probably. Alright, Felipe leveled up. I wanna give him the... Hmm, engineer Automata perk. I think we wanna go with the Engineer perk first. Next time, though, we'll go with the Rogue perk. Just to... Maximize his abilities. Go here. Edible mushrooms. Edible mushrooms. That should, I should fill my crew supplies. I think. Unleashy. All right. Move hill you are there. Immediately take out this one sheep. Want to end the counter friendly? Take him out. Lastly, let's see. Hopefully that hits. Yes, it does. Boom. Got an extra encounter token. And level up. We're out of supply, though, sadly. Who's this Rick? Alright. That's fine. Losing supply in the first island isn't that big of a deal. We wanna go for a diplomat, I think. Yeah, we wanna go for a diplomat. We wanna save the naturalist perks for the scientist. Hmm. Symbolism. We'll give the archaeologist perk to Kiwi. We don't want to overburden Felipe with too many things. Go here. Excellent. Out of supplies. Alright, lose attack power. Oh, well, too bad. Well, we're gonna be getting new supplies here. Three supplies. Excellent. What's challenge? Tactician, the godly, quick thinker. We have none of those. Uh, let's just go there, anyways. Missing trip. Oh, okay. I've had a party member with. Um, I've had a party member with, I think, two quick thinker, quick thinker perks, and she still couldn't beat this challenge. I think you need at least three quick thinker perks, which is pretty crazy. At, right at the start, but yeah, if you don't be, if you don't win this challenge, you get a quick pick perk, and I'm not sure what you get if you do win this challenge somehow. So for quick pickers, it's best to put them on the scout. I will give it to Kiwi. All right, excellent. Sometimes you find a natural for, with interest researching, however, incorrectly might be useless. All right. Hmm. Observe penalty. I think it's worth the risk. Oh. Well, there wasn't much of a penalty. Just lost out on, on re some research. Another weird colorful stone. Alright. All you, Felipe. That's much better. This one's much more worth it. Mine the stone. Get a lot more research for that one. Loses armor. Hey, okay, that's fine. We can still go on. Another person in the words. University student. 
who study and they're a student. Excellent. More rare rush mushrooms? Feeble, alright. Hopefully this isn't um the final boss isn't physical. Onwards. Who vigorously searches through the dense forest. It doesn't take long before you find it. Standing so circle. Alright. Here familiar laughter. Revolu. Alright, uh, thank you, amateur. No, this is mine. I was here first. Problem, my friend. Alright. Our first boss, one of Rivulu's minions, who's uh, this one's de devious wanted. But we should open up with a with a friendly attack. Like that. See how far they can walk. Three steps. All right. Finish him off, and I can use Kiwi. Buff one of my party members. Okay, he just made my scout sad. All right, she's sad, so she's gonna do less speech damage. However, I should still be able to one shot his minions. He's weak to confident. Yeah, he's really weak. But he missed! Yep, still one shot. Hmm, I think we can do this. Yeah, now take him out and do damage to him. I'll set us up for to, to change the mood back to devious so we can get the best reward. Verify him. I think we can finish this guy off now. Right? Yeah. Oh, so we'll. Weaken them first. Then rage them. There we go. Finish the devious. Means we can get the best treasure from this island. Know everything there is to know. Amazing. Three study Baronix Claw. Oh really? Okay. I guess we'll be going devious. Maybe. Well that's our first island done. We got two treasures. Oh this is an A rank treasure. It's really good. And that gave us two insight. It's really good. It's quite a bit of research. We should be able to max out one of our research trees. Right? Sly Scholar? Okay. Now, first things first, let's go to our research trees. We want to go history. Because at the end, we get these, we, um, in the history trees, at the end, we get the we get extra supply after each expedition. I think this is one of the the best uh, research papers to to boost your supplies with. After f uh, and also after each expedition, you can also get a uh, plus one insight. The insight is really really good if you use it at the end of your expeditions. All right, so let's go history. 
Lobbyist joins your own trust, 5 campaign. Getting 5 campaign means um, with, with Hildegard's perk, I can just get all that research back, basically. I had 182, now I have 185, see? Pays for itself. Now, let's just take everything and see how much we have left. What's the campaign? Okay. Hmm. So that one treasure gives us a boost for going devious, so I think we should just try to go devious this time. Yeah, let's 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 see how that works. Always fun to try something new. Gain 15 to now when you acquire a helper entourage. That should be really easy with her. If we will be going for a campaign anyways. 75 research. We don't have anything else. So we'll spend our We'll spend our status for a specialist mainly. On a Haas. She's friendly, Lady Baduva. Yeah, we'll go with Lady Baduva since we're going devious. I don't think we'll be able to afford any more specialists if we upgrade, so we'll just spend it on helpers for now. We should go with um status mainly. No wait, research or status? No, I, I, status. Journalist. Alright. I think that's good. Um, for our first item, we want to go with the monkey wrench. Does he have a dance tools? Nope. Yeah, we'll go with the monkey wrench. What about navigation? He has navigation. Okay. Get the monkey wrench to Felipe. Yes. He's rank 3 engineer now. Yeti. Athlete perk stamina. Hmm. She already has languages, sadly. I think we'll go with this for now. Well, let's let's carry on with our next expedition. 